Hello, my beautiful Leos. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, thanks for stopping by. If you're a returning viewer or subscriber, thanks for coming back and welcome. We're going to be doing a tarot reading today for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Please keep in mind it's a general reading, so it may or may not resonate with all of you. And please go check your Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs, okay? I also have a playlist. You can go and uh, look for some of the past videos I have posted. Uh, some are collective readings, some are monthly readings, uh, readings. so um, please feel free to go and check those out, okay? Let's see what energy will be playing out for you here in March and see what spirit has for you. All right, this reading is for Leo. We start with the two of pentacles. Change, change, change is coming, Leo. Okay, two of pentacles. So you could be experiencing change at this time. It could be in many, you know, areas of your life or one specific area of your life. Maybe a change in relationship, change in job. Um, there could be new people coming into your life. Uh, maybe, you, you know, you're juggling different things in your life that could be leading to uh, new opportunities. Okay. Could be many different things here. Um, but nonetheless, change is definitely working its way in. Okay. So, um, it's going to be very important for you to stay grounded at this time. That's what I'm hearing. Okay. It's going to be very important for you to ensure that you have, um, your ducks in a row. Make sure you're paying attention to all of the, um, red flags if there are any and any, you know, possible opportunities that could be in front of you, um, you know, in the month of March. Okay. Any type of, uh, be open is what I'm trying to say. Be open to opportunity. Okay. In March. Um, so in your current energy, we have the princess of swords. We have this change card, which is talking about change and we have the queen of swords in reverse. Okay. Um, what I'm feeling with this, um, uh, is that there's, there is a very, um, immature, maybe even, um, a very harshly worded, I'm going to put this in a way that is, it's going to be a little bit, um, harsh, but I have to just say it because I see it. Um, there's, there's an immature person here who could be very verbally manipulative. Okay. With the prince of princess of swords, this talks about, you know, someone who is like a page, right? Someone who hasn't developed skills, <laughs> verbal skills or communication skills in a way that is respectable, right? This is someone who's definitely in the queen of swords energy in reverse. So this person is verbally abusive. There's someone here who maybe talks a lot of shit. Okay. Maybe to your face, maybe to other people. I think that's why the change card is here. There's something that needs to change something that needs to, um, to be possibly, you know, there, this person po possibly needs to just be, um, either removed from, you know, your situation, whether this is a work situation, maybe you need to just change departments if you can. Um, if this is a friend or if this is a family member, sometimes you have to cut those people out, right? So it's going to depend on, on your situation, but we'll look more into this reading as we go through the cards here. I'm seeing someone here who is very verbally abusive. Okay. Um, you could be dealing with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy as well. Um, in your recent past, there's this queen of wands, the tower and the knight of wands. There's more people here, Leo. Um, but this could also be, maybe there is someone here who you had a very strong sexual connection with or a very strong, um, intense, um, physical connection with, okay. There's lots of passion here. So this person could be maybe someone who is, um, a boyfriend, girlfriend, um, you know, it could even, like I said, it could be a friend, it could be family member, but, um, because we have the King and the Queen of Wands here, this is talking to me about a very passionate connection. So more than likely it's going to be someone who you have had a very sexual attraction to. Okay. Lots of sexual attraction too, and vice versa. The tower, however, is right in the middle of these two people. 
Okay, so the, what this is telling me is that something had to end uh, or something had to come crashing down in order for you to see the change that is needed because I do feel here that this person could have um, been very promiscuous, okay? Um, maybe telling a lot of lies, maybe, you know, speaking um, a lot of untruths. Um, this person is someone who gaslights. This is someone who doesn't speak the honest truth, someone who lies a lot, someone who manipulates with their words. And even though there was a lot of sexual attraction here between you, you and this person, Leo, I do feel that something had to change. Okay. That's why the change card here is right in the middle of your reading. Okay. And this is your current situation. If you haven't ended this or you have not um, confronted this person or you have not dealt with the situation yet, spirit is really saying that change needs to happen. Okay. Um, again, I want to reiterate lots of sexual attraction. Um, there's a lot of energy of in and out, um, type of energy, especially on, um, their part. I feel like, you know, there's someone here and again, roles can be reversed in tarot. So put it how it resonates. It could be you. Yeah, it could be, um, someone here is, uh, you know, just the type who wants to come in sleep with you or you them and then you know move on with their day come back and do the same thing and there's no actual energy of feeling this um, love or need to commit or want to stick around for much longer than what it takes a couple minutes right booty call that's what I'm hearing okay um, but I do feel that this person also gives you empty words um, this person makes empty promises. Um, again, I'm going to say it again. It could be you. It could be you doing this to this person. But this is your reading. And usually, you know, when I'm doing a reading for uh, one of the signs, it's, you know, more, more than likely it's the other person. But, you know, I have to say that it could be um, you. So you have to make sure that you put this into context for you. Okay. I'm only reading the cards as I see them. I can't see everything. Okay. Um, in your immediate future, we have the princess of discs. We have sorrow with the three of swords, and then we have the ace of cups. Yeah. So I do feel here that this connection, um, has brought a lot of heartache. Um, and the ace of cups is really saying that you definitely are being asked to really care for yourself at this time. Really give yourself the love that you deserve within yourself in order for you to heal from this situation. Um, there's a lot of heartache, a lot of heartache here, even in, in the immediate future. I feel like this is not something that is past energy, although yes, I do see that you've met this person in the past, in the recent past. Um, but I also feel that this is a very new connection okay, as well. So I feel like it's something that you're going through and you will be continuing to go through if you don't, you know, make the choice to either if you want commitment with this person, right, then you are going to have to uh, work to, you know, to that goal. But I don't see that happening, to be honest with you. Um, there's too much, uh, too much chaos that I see here in and out energy, um, you know, always going back and forth with each other, um, and really going back to one another only on one basis. And that's a very, um, passionate and sexual, um, basis here. Okay. Someone who just, um, is in it for, uh, the hit, right? Just the, it's, I don't know how else to say it. Someone just wants to come in and hit it and then leave. Okay. Um, I'm going to go ahead and clarify these cards uh, since we're early on here in the reading. So I want to look at this Queen of Wands. Let's see who this is here. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. Who is this? Okay, so we got the power card with the four of pentacles. I believe this is the four of pentacles. Yes. So this card is titled Power. And we are looking at it in a way that, um, for me as a reader and my guides helping me with this reading today are, they're saying that it's someone here is more powerful than the other. Okay. 
the Queen of Wands. Now, please don't get gender mixed up here. This could be also, you know, this could be a male, it could be a female, it could be um, non-binary. It doesn't matter. There's no gender in tarot. But um, the Queen of Wands here next to this Four of Pentacles is saying that there's someone here that doesn't want to let go. Someone here is more powerful than the other in, in whatever reason, for whatever reason. It could be the person who has more sensibility to them. Someone who isn't in this Queen of Swords energy. Someone who isn't manipulative. So the other person who has higher vibration coming in for them is the one who is feeling that need to stick around. Because usually that's the one who, um, you know, wants to try to make things work, right? Um, so... It'll depend on you and how you receive this reading, but there is someone here who's more powerful than the other. Again, sometimes the manipulator can seem more powerful because they're the one manipulating. They're the ones keeping the person stuck, but I, I'm feeling in this um, energy here, someone doesn't want to let go. Could be you, Leo. Could be them. Someone here wants to remain tied to this connection. I want to look at the Knight of Wands. Let's see what this energy is. It's next to the Queen of Wands. So this Knight of Wands could definitely be the one with the energy here of the Knight. I'm sorry, of the Queen of Wands. Uh, Queen of Swords in reverse. Lovers. Yeah. This is a lover situation. This is not a friendship. Okay. I'm feeling this is actual um, a lover uh, quarrel. level uh, A lover's situation that has definitely brought in a little bit of havoc. Okay. Um, between you two, I feel like there is this connection of um, someone who doesn't want to release it and someone who definitely needs to make a decision or who has made a decision um, to come in with change. Someone wants this change to be made here, okay? Um, someone... And if it's not something that somebody that wants to make the change, it's someone that needs to make the change is what I'm hearing from spirit. Okay. Um, this person, as I said earlier, is immature. Um, their energy is um, in and out. Um, you know, to be honest with you, I this could be both of you wanting this uh, quick, you know, um, situation where you guys are just having sex and having fun and and maybe there's that's all there is I don't know for sure if there's someone here who wants commitment or not I don't see that so this could just be you know definitely a, a situation where um, maybe you're okay with it maybe they're okay with it but the tower here definitely shows that there is some sort of uh, issue let's look at the tower why is the tower here the ace of swords Someone wants to come through with some truth or someone has already come through with some truth. I'm seeing that someone possibly may have come in and said, look, you know, I, I don't want to, I don't want this to end. Um, I really want to continue to have this relationship. Um, but maybe someone here wants a little bit more. Okay. Maybe someone here wants some stability, maybe a little bit more stability when it comes to this connection. Um, I'm going to get one more card for this Knight of Wands because this lovers can really be talking about a decision. I'm seeing kids in this card, so I don't know. Maybe someone wants to have kids. We have the death and we have, um, in this deck it's called the Aeon because uh, this is the Thoth Tarot deck, so a different completely different system than the rws but this technically is judgment um there's a decision to wow what i'm getting with this leo is that someone has uh in the recent past made a decision to come clean about how they truly feel. However, there is a little bit of energy with this card, uh, with the, the, uh, the death card here, because it is something that is, that ended. Okay. We do have the tower and now we have death. Something has ended. I believe it was due to the fact that 
someone wanted the truth with the Ace of Swords. Someone wanted to, um, you know, be honest on both spectrums on, but with, you know, for both parties, you know, let's, let's be honest with each other. And somebody here with the Queen of Swords in reverse wanted to play games. Okay. I feel like someone here is, is definitely, um, feeling the effects of their, their games. I want to get, I want to see what this princess of swords is here because somebody made a decision to make the change or someone is getting ready to come in to express words of honesty about how they feel or maybe how they think about the situation. Let's look at the princess of swords. Interesting. We have the 10 of pentacles. So someone here, Leo, is definitely, um, and this is going to, you know, add to the story here. Someone definitely makes really good money. I'm seeing that someone here makes pretty good money. Um, for whatever reason that message needs to come out here, that's what, it, that's what they're saying. Um, that's what the cards are saying. Could be someone very young here that makes very good money. Okay. Yeah, there's someone very young here. It uh, could be you with them. Someone here makes very good money. Um, I'm also seeing a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Um, yeah, there could be someone who works. Um, also, there's someone who works in the communications specter, specter, sector, communications sector, you know, doing something in communications, maybe they're a telephone operator, maybe they're, um, you know, commentator, um, maybe they're, you know, someone who performs, um, for a living. Wh whoever this is, I feel that they make really good money. Okay. But they're very young. So that's going to tell you more as to who this queen of wands is, because that's what I'm feeling here. That's the queen of wands. I see here, someone who holds on to their money very tightly, someone who might even be stingy, um, someone who might, you know, not only want to, uh, continue, um, down the path of, uh, making very good money. But, uh, I mean, because they're so young, I see that there is this powerful energy. We do have the power card here, okay, with the, for the Queen of Wands. So put that how it resonates for you. Um, let's continue. I want to see what this change card is talking about. Why is change here? The Seven of Wands. Wow. Seven of Wands to me talks about someone who is definitely on their game. There's definitely someone here who is um, very, very beautiful or very handsome. Okay. Someone here who makes a lot of money uh, and maybe does it by um, how they look. Okay. There could be someone here who um, is a model. Uh, someone here who, wow, um, I don't know why I'm getting this, but there could be someone here who w works in the adult industry, someone who's in the limelight in the adult industry, makes a lot of money, okay? That's not going to be for everyone, obviously. I'm only seeing um, some of the things here that I, I have to mention, okay? Um, there's, nonetheless, there's someone here who, and I'm seeing very heavy Leo energy here with, um, not only Leo, but Mars energy, someone who is, who fights for what they want, someone who, um, definitely stands, uh, very, very strong in their, um, in their confidence, someone who is, I feel like this is you, Leo. Um, I feel like you are someone who definitely stands out, um, and I feel also that that's possibly why this person, you know, I feel like this person could be jealous of you or want what you have. Um, 
you're the one I feel that's in power. We talked about that earlier. Someone here is more powerful than the other. I feel like you are more powerful in a sense that when I say powerful, I mean that you have more integrity, higher integrity. You're, you're vibing on a different, um, level. Okay. than this person, obviously, because this person here is manipulative. Let's look at the queen of swords in reverse. I want to get more on this queen of swords energy. The nine of pentacles. This person does not want to commit guys. Okay. This person wants to remain single, but wants to come back to you whenever they want, they want to have a good time. Okay. But I feel that, um, there's something here that has ended with this person. I think that someone here made a decision that whether or not, you know, this, um, situationship has been fun. Um, I feel like judgment is, is coming in for this person. Um, in whatever way that is, I just feel that something's coming in for them, whether it's a realization that, you know, they may want, or you may want to, uh, you maybe you want more, right? Or maybe there's something here that needs to change between you two that that's going to take it to the next level because I, right now I feel like there is no love. There's no cups here except for this one. But this cup to me is talking, talking to me about you, uh, really focusing on the love for yourself. That's what it's talking to me about. Okay. I feel like this has been very heartbreaking for you. Um, although I see a lot of success here for you, I see that you are someone who shines above the rest. I see that, um, your honesty has been, has brought you more heartache than it has brought you, um, solace. And sometimes, you know, people can't handle honesty. A lot of people can't handle the truth. And so, you know, maybe you've tried to speak your mind or try to share your thoughts with this person and it just doesn't go anywhere. Um, but I also feel here that nonetheless, you, you are someone who rises above, um, all of the difficult situations or energies that you've experienced. I want to look at this uh, young person or this energy. I don't know if it's a person here, but it's, it's a young, mature energy. I think it's you, Leo. We have the Knight of Cups, happiness, and the Hierophant. Yeah. So I feel like here, Leo, I feel like you are the one that whose wish fulfillment is commitment with this person. I feel like you want more love to come in. I feel like you are wanting to take this relationship to the next level. And I feel that that's really what your goal is here. I feel like you want to settle down with this person, get married. That's, that's what I'm seeing your wish fulfillment is here. And it could be that, you know, you two are very young. Maybe, um, you know, the situation here has been, and I'm, what I'm seeing here is that a decision here was made. Um, I'm seeing that there's been possible communication going back and forth about how, how you feel because we have the Knight of Cups. So this talks about sharing your emotions. Okay. So someone's wish fulfillment here, I feel it's yours here, Leo, is to commit and have a commitment with someone, whether it's with this person or not. And it could be that you're saying, you know what, if I have to make a decision to end this, if you're not going to commit. And you're not going to give me the things that I deserve because I do deserve everything, including the sexual and physical attraction that I get with you, right? Is what you're saying to them. Um, let's look at the uh, five or the three of swords. I'm sorry. Three of swords for Leo. Okay. So we have the... Um, Eight of Wands with the Magician. Yeah. So this is, you know, the Eight of Wands talks about quick communication. Um, I'm feeling uh, Sagittarius energy here, but also with the Gemini energy here with the Magician, this is also talking to me about 
um, manifestations. So, yeah, I feel like there has been some attempt to communicate, uh, some attempt to have a dialogue. And I feel that, you know, maybe with your optimism, uh, you have felt that maybe this was going to work out, but I, I don't feel that this person has any intention of moving into that direction. I feel like there's been a lot of upheaval because the communication has broken down to nothing. I feel like spirit is really asking you to move on. Okay. The magician can talk about new beginnings and and spirit is really saying that you do have everything that you need in order to move towards this beautiful rainbow after um, after the rain, right? There is that uh, looking forward, that um, ray of sunlight that is available to you, right? There's that ray of sunlight after the rain. And the rainbow, you just need to have that new beginning in order to see on the other side of the of the darkness okay the heartache so yeah I'm feeling there is this you know this need to have more emotional fulfillment rather than just having um, you know a good time with this person I feel like you really like this person I don't feel necessarily that you two are in love I feel it's like a, a very new thing a new um, you possibly have recently met this person, maybe um, a month ago. Okay, could be uh, could be um, seven months ago. I'm hearing. All right, let's look at this Ace of Cups. Why is the Ace of Cups here? We have the Seven of Swords. So I'm hearing that you got to be careful with this energy because you could be self-sabotaging your own heart here, okay? That's what this is saying. You could be self-sabotaging your own heart here, Leo, by not, by, by staying, you know, um, connected or not wanting to release this because I feel like you don't want to release this person. Sometimes when people you know, manipulate like this person is doing here. It even talks here about gain, okay? So this person could be trying to gain something from you by using words of manipulation, okay? Love bombing, too. Love bombing is fake love. That's what it is. They're just giving you what you want to hear. They're just giving you what you need to hear, okay? Not necessarily wanting to commit to you or um, really, they don't have the intentions of uh, moving this relationship in, you know, into the next level. Um, we have the nine of pentacles here, and then we have the ten of pentacles here. They could be maybe trying to attain wealth by being with you. Um, in some way, they could be, you know, you, they could be using you for your money is what I'm hearing. Okay, be careful with that. Spirit really wants you to know that um, victory is an option here for you. Um, you can definitely, even though you all you are already someone who is vibing very high, you are someone who um, is very very um, physically attractive, um, someone who is confident, someone who definitely the Queen of Wands, right? You're someone who um, really shines above the rest. Okay. Um, but it seems like you are having a hard time making the change that needs to come in um, in order to begin something new. Um, I think that also um, there's going to be some quick communication that comes in to help you move you forward. I do feel that there could be something coming in that allows you to see your worth, okay? I know you already know your worth here, okay, as an individual. That's not, you know, I'm not saying that you don't. But what I'm saying is here, if you don't want to um, continue to have this um, connection that doesn't seem to be going anywhere other than 
you know, having a, a good time with this person and there's no commitment, there's no love, there's no effort on their part to be sincere and genuine with you. Um, you you're just self-sabotaging yourself by sticking around. Okay. So love yourself here, Leo. Make sure you're loving yourself and don't allow this type of energy to penetrate your high vibrations. Okay. Because I do feel that you are someone who vibes very high. Someone who's very confident. Now, again, as I said in the recent past, I do see that some communication here was brought through. You were po possibly being honest with them or them you, right? Some honesty came through, some truth of the matter. It could have been you saying, you know, this is, I want commitment. It could have been then them saying, well, I don't, right? But I feel like there was some sort of decision that, you know, had to really come to the realization. A decision was made that um, maybe brought you into um, a new way of thinking. Um, there could also have been here um, this realization that singlehood is what your partner is, is interested in. They don't want a connection and they don't want to be committed, but you do. I see that there is this commitment um, that really is in your heart. You You definitely want to work this out with this person. Okay. But don't do it at your own detriment, especially if they're telling you and being honest with you and saying, I don't want it. I don't want to commit. I'm not ready. I want to stay single. Okay. When someone shows you who they are, believe them. Okay. So Leo, I wish you the best of luck in this situation. Um, continue to do the self care, love yourself. Um, move forward. Um, you do have the magician energy here, which is saying you have everything that you need to move forward. If you want to, it is at the end of the day, it is your choice um, because you do deserve love. Okay. We all do. So move forward with this, Leo. I, you know, wish you luck and uh, take care until next time. Namaste.